rectangular concrete beam of, of width 120 mm, depth 200 mm, is stressed by free tensioning of a force 150 kN at an eccentricity of 20 mm. Full stop. The cross sectional area of the free stressing steel is 187.5 mm square. Full stop. Take modulus of elasticity of steel and concrete as 2.1 into 10 raised to 3 MPA and 3 into 10 raised to 4 MPA, respectively. Full stop. Calculate the percentage loss of stress in free stressing steel due to elastic deformation of concrete. So first of all, write down the given data. First cross sectional area of beam it is given. A is equal to 120 mm into 200. Okay. 120 into 200 mm. It will be get 120 into 200, it will be 24 into 10 to 3. 24 into 10 to power 3 in mm square. In mm square. Okay. The next moment of inertia is V1. Calculate the moment of inertia from this section. So, restricting force it is also given. P is equal to 150 kilo newton. 150 Kilo newton, 150 kilonewton. Then eccentricity is given. E is equal to E is equal to 20 m. E is equal to 20 m. And area of steel is AST is given 187.5 mm square. Okay, 187.5 mm square. The modulus of elasticity of steel that is ES ES is equal to 2.1 into 10 raised to the power 3 MPA. Then modulus of elasticity of concrete E EC it is given. It is 3 into 10 raised to the power 4 MPA. MPA. Then find out the percentage loss due to elastic difference. So this data it is given. So first of all, calculate the moment of inertia. I is equal to so for this B D cube by 12, B into B into D cube by 12, B D cube by 12, B D cube by 12. So B it is 120 mm, B it is 120 mm. And D it is 200 mm, 200 mm, 200 mm, 200 mm cube, cube divided by divided by 12, divided by 12, divided by 12. So we get moment of inertia 120 into 120 into 400 cube divided by 12. So this one it is 18 to 10 to 3. 80 into 10 to the power 6 mm raised to 4. mm raised to mm raised to 4. So this one it is moment of energy. Okay. So first of all, calculate the FC. That is FC. Trace at concrete level, okay. Trace at concrete level that is in C by C by A, C by A plus plus C square by A plus C e e square by C e e square by I. E square by I. E square by I. Okay. Put all this value here. So P it is in stressing force, take it is in Newton. That is 150, 150 into 10 raised to the power 3 is in Newton divided by cross section area of beam. It is cross section area of beam. 120 into 200 
we are already calculated it. 24 into 10 raised to 3. 24 into 10 raised to the power C. And plus, and plus C, it is again displacing force. It is 150 into 10 raised to the power C. 10 raised to the power C. The eccentricity it is 20 mm, 20 square. 20 square. 20 square divided by divided by moment of inertia it is 18 into 18 into 10 raised to the power 6. Okay. We get the FC from this. Calculate FC is equal to FC is equal to so 150 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 24 into 10 to the power C. So this one it is 6.25, 6.25 plus this term 150 into 10 to the power 3 into 20 square, 20 square divided by 80 into 10 to the power 6. It will be 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75 plus 6.25, so it will be 7, 7 MP, 7 MP. Now loss due to elastic deformation, 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 due to elastic deformation. is equal to, is equal to, M into FC, M into FC, okay. M into FC, M into FC, M into FC. Okay. So M it is modular ratio, modular ratio, M is equal to CS by EC, M is equal to modulus of elasticity of concrete, sorry, steel divided by, divided by modulus of elasticity of concrete, EC. Modular ratio it is ES by ES. So ES it is 2.1 into 2.1 into 10 raised to the power 10 raised to the power C. Sorry, 10 raised C into sorry, this one it is ES it is 8 modulus of steel and concrete. 2.1 into 10 raised to the power C. Sorry, this value it is actually 10 raised to 5. 10 raised to 5. Okay. So 10 raised to 5. So 2.1 into 2.1 into 10 raised to the power 5 divided by EC it is area of feeling concrete 3 into 10 raised to 4. into 10 raised to the power 4. So modular ratio to be get from this relation here by C 2.1 into 1.1 into 10 raised to the power 5 divided by 3 into 10 raised to power 4. So it will be 7. So this ratio will be 7. M is equal to 7. So loss due to elastic deformation MFC. Okay. It will be MFC MFC, M it is 7, and FC it is, FC it is again 7, 7 into 7 it will be 49, 49 MPA, 45 MPA, okay. So now initial stress, initial stress, calculate initial stress, initial stress is equal to stressing force divided by area of stress. Stressing force divided by area of steel. Stressing force divided by area of steel. That is AST. That is AST. So stressing force it is 150 kilo newton. So 150 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 
area of steel it is area of steel it is 187.5 187.5 187.5 will be at initial stress initial stress is equal to 150 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by initial stress which is 187.5 it will be 800 800 mp okay 800 mp the so loss percentage loss percentage percentage of loss stress percentage of percentage of loss of percentage percentage loss of stress due to elastic deformation percentage loss of stress is equal to is equal to so this one it is loss due to pre-stressing loss due to elastic deformation it is 49 49 divided by 49 divided by initial stress 49 divided by initial stress it will be 800, 800, 800 into percentage, it will be into 100. So, get the percentage loss due to elastic deformation. So, this value it will be 49 divided by 49 divided by 800 into 100. It will be 6.125. 6.125 so, loss due to elastic. The percentage loss due to elastic deformation is 6.25. Okay. So this question it is asking gate exam in gate 2009.